Welcome to part three of our Make My Newspaper tutorial series on our Cloud Newspaper Designer. As always, we'll start on our homepage and launch the Newspaper Designer. Today we're going over picture tools, which you'll find there in the left side of your screen. Let's click on that, and just like text and shape tools, we'll see the menu on top has changed to show us more detailed picture tools. Just hold your cursor over the Add Picture icon up here and drag the box down into your canvas area, and you'll now see quite a spectacular menu. The first tab is your basic upload page. Click the box and select your picture, or simply open your computer's picture library and drag your JPEG, GIF, PNG, or SVG over into the box. Let go, and your picture is now in your design area. We'll come back to the picture tools in a few minutes, but let's get back to our menu. Let's drag another picture down and look at the second tab. Same kind of function as the first tab, except this time you can bring in actual PDFs. The third tab is your permanent library. See the picture we uploaded a moment ago? It's now there for you to use on any page or any future project you might need it. The fourth tab is a great feature with help over at our friends at Open Clip Art. This is a library of thousands of vector art that you can use in your projects. There's even a search feature. And the beauty of vector art is that you can't stretch the image too big. Let's go ahead and choose one and load it into the designer. No matter how large I stretch it, it doesn't lose print quality, like can happen with an image or a photo. That's the advantage of vector images. The fifth tab is a complete picture library, all of them print quality, offered by our partners over at Morgfile. Again, we have a search feature with tens of thousands of pictures at your disposal. Let's go back to the picture we uploaded first. If you grab any corner, you can enlarge or shrink your picture and keep it in proportion, or you can always grab any side and stretch it in and out. Grab the rotate icon on top of the image and rotate away. For fine tuning, look for the same icon up here and you can adjust the rotation by degrees. This gives you full nuance control of your rotation. This little feature is called a mirror tool. Select your image, hit the mirror tool, and you'll see it flips it horizontally. Want it in the original form? Just hit it again. The last feature on top is your crop tools. The sliding bars allow you to crop from the left or right, and the other one allows cropping from the top or bottom. Just grab the bars and crop your image to the place you want it. When you're done, all of your features work just the same as they did without cropping. And that's how you use our picture tools, and we hope this tutorial is beneficial to you. Look for our other video tutorials, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified of new ones. Happy designing, everyone.